Hello, Year 6. Welcome to uh, Thursday's English lesson. So today we're looking at creating suspense and tension using the show, don't tell uh, approach to convey emotion. So we've got four stages. And obviously today I'm not using a PowerPoint. I'm looking at the sheet. and I'm going to use the waggle that we looked at yesterday to sort of help us um, and help you get set up for what you do. Um, and show you some examples rather than go through sort of PowerPoint because actually we know we should know the film really well if you want to go back and watch the film the video is again the the um, code the link for the video is again uploaded onto the school website but I want to just really give you some idea of what we're looking for today so as in many stories the characters emotions change uh, throughout um, based on the action and the events that take place okay um, we're going to use the show don't tell approach to convey emotion um, and our challenge is to write about the emotions without naming them. So we're going to complete the grid below. I'm going to name the overriding emotion. And you can see there are four boxes. We're going to do one for each stage that you picked out in the chase scene. Um, so through your planning and then that you used yesterday uh, as you create your sentence structures, we're going to use those four stage sections of the chase scene to develop this idea. So, we've got outside and inside. Outside is how you're feeling, what's going on in, uh, uh, um, what's going on at the outside of our bodies, what can we see that is changing how this person feels, and then inside, how do we feel on the inside, what's going on inside, what's our body doing internally, okay? So, I wanted to go to the waggle that we looked at yesterday. So, you'll see this is the same that you had yesterday. They're here. I whisper under my breath, chop, chop, chop. The unmistakable sound of propellers slicing through the air, terrifying. How did they find me? My pupils dilate, my palms begin to sweat. So they are external factors. Pupils are in your eyes, they're the, out, the black part of your eyes, so they can be seen from outside. My palms begin to sweat. Again, that's the outside of your body. Okay, it's things that we can see is the external elements. What emotion are we feeling at that point? So our pupils are dilating. We, actually, in this, they have mentioned the word terrifying. So we know they are scared, but they haven't said, I feel scared. My pupils dilate, my palms begin to, begin to sweat. It's panic, and it's a natural reaction that our body has. So they are showing us how that person is feeling. They're not telling us. So again, what else might your body do if you felt terrified on the inside? What might your body do on the inside? Well, if somebody's really scared, somebody's really nervous, my heart rate quickened, okay? My pulse quickened. You haven't told anybody that you are scared. You haven't told anybody you're worried. But within the context of the scene, the reader, the audience can infer that that's how you are feeling. So outside. My pupils dilate, my palms begin to sweat. Inside, my heart rate quickened, like the beating of a bass drum. Okay, just something extra to give a bit more detail, that thudding, that pace, and how powerful it felt within us. Every body, every, sorry, every body, every muscle in my body is twisted and contorted. Muscles on the inside of our bodies, aren't they? Although we might be able to see the shapes of them through our skin. Um, they are inside our body. They are twisted and contorted. So you imagine that feeling of when your body cramps up. Anybody who's had cramp before, it's quite a painful experience. And it's that thing that your body is so nervous. It's, you know, crying out for help almost. Everything's tense. We're panicking. Our body's going into panic mode. So that there, very clearly, my pupils dilate, my palms begin to sweat. Every muscle in my body is twisted and contorted. We have our outside here, and then we have our inside here. At no point has the writer said how they are feeling. I am scared, doesn't say it. And we don't need that, we can work that out. I am nervous, okay? I am anxious, none of it, don't need it, but we've got the clear idea, okay? I have to fight to move, fight or flight. So that's how they've then carried that on. But today, what we're looking for at these parts. My pupils dilate, my palms begin to, begin to sweat. Every muscle in my body is twisted and contorted. 
So what you need to think about is where are you at each stage? As he's riding his motorcycle, trying to escape the, the chopper, the, the thing that is flying behind him, I call it a chopper because it's a chop, 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 we've got propellers. Um, what is going on at that point? My mind begins to race would be a good inside thing that shows a bit of emotion without showing, without saying what it is. If our mind is racing, okay, that's a natural reaction of our body. Our mind is trying to find some, theater, some way of escaping this. It's showing again that fear, that nervousness, the anxiety, and also that element of I've got to save myself. Okay, so we're getting all those ideas of emotion across without actually saying, I am nervous, I am scared, I feel anxious. And we've got to have that clear idea as to how we're going to get it across. So you can see we have those four stages and you might want to label them one to four. And you need a simple sentence. You'd see it again, I'll just go back to that wide hole quickly. Outside, seven, seven, ooh, eight words, eight words in a sentence. Very simple, just exactly what we needed to. Think about those natural reactions our body has at different points. Okay, as he heard the sound, he might have a chill ran up my spine. That thing of knowing something scary is about to happen um, and not, no, not necessarily knowing what it is. So here's the sound and it causes that natural reaction. So think carefully about what you're going to use for each of those stages. What are you going to use for your outside and your inside sentences? Again, it might be worth watching the video and pausing at the points that you picked out in your uh, planning stage and really thinking about, well, how would you feel? How would a character feel at that point? How am I going to get that across to my audience without saying he is scared? Okay, I hope that helps. If you need any support with it, please let me know. And I look forward to seeing your ideas because actually, again, you can see all this stuff we're doing so far is really building up to that final piece of writing on Friday. Okay, good luck and keep working hard.